I don't know if I'm out of breath from the fact that I trained legs this morning, from the fact that I just filmed that freaking health update and I got emotional, or the fact that I just carried all this stuff in here, but hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Mia. I am a certified fitness coach, um, getting my bachelor's in exercise science currently, and um, this video has nothing to do with any of that because I am also becoming a corgi mom in June um, and I'm very excited about it. So um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen it, but um, at the end of June, I will be bringing home my little loaf. Um, I am getting a Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Her name is Lona. Um, I already have put a deposit down on her and right now it is a few weeks early from that so you guys are probably wondering Mia why the fuck did you go shopping so early one I'm hella excited um so I wanted to get all this stuff but two um I also do everything early so let's put that out there but actually the main reason is I just got back from a trip to Miami um with my team for my my FBK fit by Katie um so I just got back from that trip and I am leaving for San Diego to go see my parents for two weeks um, on Saturday. So I will be gone for two weeks. And when I get back, I literally am here for a day. Um, I get back on the 19th. I'm here the 20th where I have legs. I have a lash appointment and I also have to pack and get ready to go. And then the 21st, I got to wake up hella early. I got to train and I got to drive three hours to go pick up Lona. Um, and then I got to drive to my parents' other house. Um, that is in the Dells. They are not going to be there for uh, another two weeks, I think, um, after I'm there, but I wanna get Lona acclimated. There's better AC down there, better, <laughs> this sounds stupid, but there's much better lighting for me to create content for you guys. Um, and then also it's just like, it's nicer, it's bigger, it's great. I get a lot of work done when I'm down there. Um, so yeah, I don't have school right now. I have nothing holding me down here, so I might as well. So anyway, um, I wanted to order all of the stuff now so I have it this week. I can pack up the car and that's one less thing for me to do when I do get back from San Diego um, prior to going down there. And I didn't want to be waiting on shipping times or have a ton of boxes when I got back that were just sitting for an entire month while my roommate was here. Like, I don't want to time up anything. You know, things can go wrong with shipping. Like, so I have all the stuff. Anyway, we're just going to get into it um, and I'm going to show you guys what I got. Um... Since I love you guys, I'm going to say I'm at least going to link an Amazon list. I might link things individually, um, depending on what works best. But yeah, I, I hope you guys actually want to um, look into this stuff. And I will keep you posted on Instagram probably on how all of it works. But for the most part, it looks like it is going to be good. So this is just what I found, what I um, have found in my research on corgis and stuff like that. So um yeah anyway this is going to be the dog haul so first thing first thing we got i'm very excited about and this is a bigger item i did not have to get this you do not have to get this but i got it because i'm an outdoorsy gal i'm a hiking gal i like to walk and my nine week old puppy is probably not going to be walking as much as i do so i got this backpack it is also going to fit when she gets older so if I do go on a hike or something and she's just tired she doesn't want to walk anymore I can just throw in here and zips up like this it's nice and pink and pretty um and it's like padded on the bottom very very soft very nice um but I found this one because it came highly recommended from people who have corgis on it being big enough for them um because I obviously don't want to get something that's going to be too small for her when she grows up um because I do want to have something like that I figured it would also be cool if I do ever have to travel with her um I can just throw her in there or if I ever take her out into public or something like that like we have something we're gonna do some of the boring stuff first <laughs> when I say boring like you know the essentials um, I did get these hypoallergenic grooming wipes. These came highly recommended as not irritating um, skin or anything. Obviously, I don't know how her skin's going to react to things. I also am just not a big fan of, um, I hate saying chemicals because everything is made up of chemicals. And the fucking chem biology nerd in me absolutely hates saying that. But you guys know what I mean. I don't like um, a lot of harmful ingredients. There we go. Um in any of my things i have recently also since i found out i'm getting a dog switched to a more natural um laundry detergent um cleaning products all of that sort of stuff because i've seen 
some fucking horror stories on TikTok. And I know TikTok is not the end all be all for information, but um, of like dogs getting sick because they like were exposed to too much Lysol. Like I, I'm traumatized and this dog, I don't even have her in my arms yet and she's already my fucking child. So I'm doing everything I can with that. So that's one. The second thing we got, this isn't super boring actually, um, but is this handy dandy little guy. Um, so it's a brush, it's very gentle, um, but it also has a hair dryer on it so you can plug it in and dry things. So I figured that would be super useful for after baths and stuff. We can just do this and we can brush, um, that'll be nice. So it was a little bit more, like obviously more expensive than like a brush brush, but I feel like it's going to be worth it. Um, I feel like it's going to be a lot easier to get her used to this sort of blow dry brush and an actual blow dryer. Um, and I also don't really want her running around my apartment wet after I give her a bath. Um, so drying brush. Next we have this Bodhi Dog Bitter No Chew Hot Spot Spray. So you spray this on stuff that they're chewing on and it prevents them from chewing on it because it tastes bad. Um, it is all natural, completely dog safe. And I figured it would be very good for the teething stage. You'll see later, I did get her a lot of stuff for teething, um, but I figured that this would be helpful in that. Um, someone else said a Corgi recommended this to me and yeah, so there's that. The thing that should have gone with the blow drying brush is this Soothe Oatmeal Shampoo. Again, came highly recommended as just like natural, doesn't irritate their skin, super gentle. Um, this one was specifically recommended for puppies. Um, so I obviously got this one because she is only going to be nine weeks when I get her. Um, and I want to have something in case I need to bathe her. And since we are going to be down at my family's other house, there's a lot of room to run and play out there, but there's also going to be a lot of mud. <laughs> um, and we're probably going to have to have some bath time. So the thing I got is just, um, well, I got a bunch of poop bags, but I don't really need to show you guys all those. Um, but I also got this little poop bag dispenser. So it like screws off on the top and you just stick one in there and then you can pull them out through here. But the great thing about it is it clips onto your keys, fanny pack, whatever you're taking on a walk okay hi um my phone ran out of storage and i love how youtubers get to say they're like my camera died i'm like my phone ran out of storage that's how janky this youtube channel is but it's where we're at so yeah anyway i don't think i've showed you guys this if there's any repeats because i had to like stop and like i'm sorry um i will try to catch it in the edit but this is the nature's miracle stain and odor remover everyone said to get this puppies are gonna have accidents they're gonna they're gonna be puppies. So this, I got her a, um, like a pen and her crate is coming. It's just the black wire like ones. Um, but basically there's that. But when we're like outside and stuff, I probably only want to bring out her pen. I want to keep her crate like clean, like make it her space. Um, so I got this for that. Um, basically I'm not going to unfold it, but it like goes over the pen and you can unzip one side and it just it's like an outside shade so if i'm sitting outside if i'm doing check-ins or something and i just want her beside me um in the pen it's not like she's gonna be out in the hot sun and not have anywhere to go this i'm super excited about so this is a um a toy it's an interactive toy so basically what you do is you put either like a treat or a kibble in like these little guys and these they're sushis she's so cute but they're little sushis and they go over it and then they come in like slide them around, try to find which one has the treat in it. So it's kind of an interactive thing. It'll keep her busy for a little bit. This, we have a toothbrush and some toothpaste because clean teeth are happy. This little water bottle that I thought was super, super cute. So you put water in here and then you press this little button. It comes into this bowl, drink another bowl. Uh, so I got four of these. They are buttons and you can program them to say whatever you want, which is way too much freedom for Mia. Um, but you can like basically train her. It's kind of like a potty bell, but it's a button. Um, train her to come and push the different buttons for different commands. Um, so my best friend and I are definitely going to be programming some pretty funny shit into there. Yeah. More fun stuff. I got this little puppy collar and the matching leash. Very on brand, very boho, very vibey. Cactus here, that's upside down, but yeah super cute these i'm so excited about oh look how cute these are little bandanas and i figure if it gets hot too i can wet these down and tie them around her neck so they're functional as well 
but they came in a pack so super cute these two are my favorite little oh, pink and green and then of course a green one oh, I love them and I'm so excited about it I'm probably gonna stop and get like um an actual bandana thing um for fourth of july because we're having a fourth of july party and she will be there so i figured that would be super cute um this other thing i'm also very excited about though i'm going to bring it with me to rub on her mom and her litter mates um but this is called a snuggle puppy if you've heard of them you know but basically it's used for anti-anxiety so i'll get um her mom and her litter mates sent on it to help as well but it comes with a heat pack and there is a little heart insert in here i'm not going to take it out because it's pretty hard to get out but um you press it and the heart insert beats so basically this will um just provide a lot of comfort and she can she can snuggle up to it um and i can turn on the heart and the heat pack when i'm not there or when i'm sleeping um just so that she has some comfort that is going to calm that anxiety which makes me happy because i don't want her to be overly stressed because stress is bad for people imagine how bad it is for a puppy oh, we're getting into some fun stuff here um these are all toys <laughs> and i ordered a pack of i don't know how many but a lot of toys on um on amazon so yeah they were like 25 dollars for like a huge pack of them and a lot of them were teething toys um and they sent me so many ropes there are so many fucking ropes i hope she likes them um but so i got that and then i got a few extras that i just thought were were too cute to not get things that came in the pack of toys that i got on amazon um this little rope frisbee thing Super cool, super durable, strong as hell. Um, figured it would be a good first little fetch toy sort of a thing. Second, we have these guys. So here's a little banana, he's all crinkly. And then an avocado. It's so cute. And hang on. This is so cute. I love it so much. And it came in the pack of toys. So yes, this, I call it the pride bone. Anyway, cute little bone. It also has a, whoop, a squeaky. Um, next thing they sent was this little squirrel. He's a flaccid squirrel. <laughs> oh my God, I hate myself. Okay, two squeaks, two squeaks on this. He's pretty strong too, that's good. I'm sure she's gonna test that strength. This is a duck of some kind. I don't know what it's, it, it has a squeak, so it's a duck. And then they sent us a bunch of varieties of ropes. I'm not going to share all of them. These two are the same, but they like have these. Um, this is like a ball that has like a handle on it. Um, so a bunch of those that I figure will be pretty good to play with. Um, and you can never have enough of the variety of those. So, and then the little like supplemental, supplemental toys that I got um, that I really liked. These, all these unicorns have little squeakies in them. But the point of them is... I'm gonna put this one in so shove them in there and then it's another enrichment toy she can pull them out of the rainbow so I figured that was super cute i'm saving the best toy for last you guys can already see it you can already see it but we're gonna go over it anyway i don't care um this this guy i'm gonna turn him on for you and not gonna let him go anywhere but my aunt got him for me and sent it to me but basically it's a little ball you unscrew it like this and you turn it on and then here it's just gonna do this thing it rolls on its own so it lights up and it like rolls around on the floor and then she can chase it i think it's mad at me oh no there it goes yeah see which i this, this is my favorite toy that i just i couldn't not get it i just thought it was hilarious i'm not a huge stoner i don't even smoke i live in wisconsin so i'm not gonna say what i do do to enjoy myself on evenings that isn't smoking that makes me be really relaxed and might come in a small plastic bag behind me but um i just thought this was fucking so funny i thought it was really funny because i looked up dog toy on amazon and this is like one of the first things that came up and i'm like iconic freaking iconic um yeah so there's that um but that is what we got for toys so far um i know that there will be more to come this little toy bin i also got it's pretty small i wouldn't recommend it um 
yeah, I'm gonna find something else because this is obviously gonna be overflowing. The last couple things that I got, I'm gonna scoot back in this chair and then just show you guys. So this is big, it's folded right now, but that is a blanket. Um, and the great thing about it is, this is the underside, is waterproof. So it's waterproof, it's pretty thick. Um, these next few items were on the pricier end, but they're worth it, I think. Um, so this is a waterproof blanket and it goes over your bed, so it protects your bed from them, basically. Um, so they can get up on your bed, they can hang out with you, your couch, whatever it is. And it just protects the furniture. Jessica is the matching bed. So this is big. Um, it's not gonna fit in her crate, <laughs> but that's okay because my dad ordered one that will fit in her crate that I'm gonna use for her first little bit of life. For um, corgis, especially as they get older, their backs are very sensitive. So I think of that bed becoming our main like source of support when she's just chilling um, is going to be a really good move there. So only other thing that I'm not going to show is her bowls because they are in a box. Um, I'll link them though. Um, they are white, just white ceramic bowls with like a stand. Uh, and I don't want to take them out because I, like I said, I am driving down there. So I don't want them to like roll around in the car. I just want to keep them in their packaging. So this is kind of a hodgepodge video. I'm sorry. Um, my phone kept running out of storage, but, um, Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you uh, got something out of it. I hope you are taking something for your own dog. Um, again, everything will be linked below. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching if you watched this far. So um, I am sending you guys all my good vibes, um, all my positive energy, all that jazz. Thank you for watching. Um, I can't wait to introduce you guys to Lona. That's going to be good. I'm definitely going to vlog that because I want to document it. Um, but yeah. Love you guys so much, um, and I will talk to you later.